Hi, it's good to see you here. My name is Roman and welcome to the vlog, episode six. All right, I need some grain today. And there is this nice little spot over here, always quiet, which is very good to record a video. Okay, I think it's safe to remove the mask for now. Sorry if I'm sweaty a bit, it's super hot and humid. It rained about two hours ago here and still super hot. So today I want to talk about how to define the content of your videos. And that's a question I'm getting a lot from my clients. They know they want to use videos to better communicate, but where to start, what to say and how to structure these videos. And of course, there are many ways to tackle this topic and it could vary based on your industry as well. But there is one thing which I think never changes. You need to talk about what your audience wants to know. It sounds pretty obvious, I know. However, I still see a lot of videos online where people talk mainly about themselves or what they have in mind, ignoring the preferences of their audience. And that's really it. You should define the topics that are interesting for your audience, not you. And how do you know that? Well, I guess you know your audience better than me. And very easy ways to figure out include the frequent questions you're getting from them during your meetings and calls. Man, it's really hot today. You may also have an FAQ on your website already, and all these questions and answers are excellent ways and ideas to create videos. And if you have a good community on LinkedIn, Facebook, etc., or maybe via a newsletter, maybe ask them what they need using a poll feature. It's very easy to set up, and you can be sure to get many good ideas this way. All right, I really need to find some air. Okay, I think I will have to deal with the temperature. Then comes the structure and the actual content of your videos. As I said in a previous episode, make sure your videos are short and to the point. Limit each video to one question or one idea. If what you have to share is complex, no problem. Just split it into multiple videos, which by the way creates an opportunity for you to do a video series and social networks love this. I'm pretty sure you know. It's actually a mistake we see a lot. Companies put a lot of efforts to create long videos, to say a lot of things, but the problem is, it's just too long for today's standards and the audience will drop off and not get the full message. Whereas with short content, you increase the probability of your message to be heard fully and that really matters for your business. So you take that one question your audience wants an answer to and you answer it in the most concise way possible. Okay, it's slightly better here. So for my last point, my recommendations are Number one, cut on words. Go to the essential and avoid repeating yourself. Number two, Use no more than one or two examples to illustrate your message. And number three, use three points maximum to structure your answer. And that will make your video easy to consume and easy to digest. Just like a good meal, you get a an appetizer, a main course and a dessert. And that's how you can be engaging and impactful with your content. Your audience doesn't have much attention. So if your content is able to provide value to them in a short manner, that's a win. In the next video, I will talk about how to actually deliver the message to the camera and we'll see different approaches which have their pros and cons. I hope it was useful. If it was, please leave a like or comment here below. And of course, don't hesitate to share with someone who would find value in this. Thanks a lot for watching and for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the different backgrounds I was playing a bit in the different corners of this place. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.